Now let us discuss about halfway rectifier. So in halfway rectifier, it uh, it is the application of a diode. So when you see the circuit of halfway rectifier, the circuit of halfway rectifier will be will have a voltage source here and diode, and this is the load resistance. So normally this voltage source it's a alternating current. Normally when you see the practical applications uh, in some textbooks, you will find this part as with a transformer because the power supply normally will get 240, 230 volts and 50 hedges frequency and when you want to step down it to the required voltages because normally practical applications will require only 2 volts or up to maximum 24 volts only that is the range of uh, uh, practical applications. So we need some 230 volts we need to step down to some uh, less than uh, to uh, around 2 to 24 volts. So we require a uh, step down transformer here. So output of the secondary voltage of transformer will be given to the diode. Now in this circuit, uh, this will have an alternating current like positive half, negative half, positive half, negative half like this. And we can say, let us take Vs, the supply is equal to maximum voltage is Vm peak voltage and this waveform I am taking as sin omega t is the waveform I am taking. Now here if you observe, uh, when you see the diode, the working of diode will be like, when you take a positive voltage, if you take a positive voltage here, so this is positive in the positive half, the diode will start conducting. So then diode acts as a short circuit because at anode you are applying a positive voltage, it acts as a short circuit. This is in the positive half. So in the positive half, whatever the voltage you are applying Vs will appear across RL. So when you see the voltage output voltage V0, so during the positive half as the diode is conducting the same voltage Vs will appear across RL. So this voltage will be like this, this is the voltage at output. And when you take negative half, so when you take negative half, during negative half the diode during the negative half, so when you take power supply, this is negative and positive. So during the negative half, the diode will act as a open circuit. Diode will act as open circuit. So here, <coughs> there, there is no connection. So the voltage across RL will be 0. That means V0 will be 0. So during negative half, it will be 0. Again, during the positive half, diode is conducting, same voltage will appear across RL. So we will have a similar output again 0, again similar output, again 0. So this is the output waveform at RL. So if you observe this circuit, if you observe the waveforms, initially the input waveform is alternating current. So uh, average value of this one, nothing but DC value. So here how to find the average value, average value is nothing but if you want to find it in uh, from the waveform, it is the, uh, it is integration of, integration over the waveform actually. Uh, but here integration nothing but the area under this curve, the area under this curve will be equal to 0 because this is positive and this is negative. But when it comes to this waveform, here also the period is same as the above waveform. But here we have only positive wave here, negative wave is missing. So when you consider this one, the average value is more than 0. So it will have some effective DC voltage. So this will have some effective DC voltage at this point. And how to calculate the DC voltage? So when you want to calculate the DC voltage, the formula will be equal to V DC will be equal to. So we need to find our average value. So here this, let us take this kind of value from 0 to 2 pi, that is a time period of sin omega t. And here 1 by 2 pi into, we are doing integration of 0 to 2 pi into V naught dt. So here 1 by 2 pi, but 0 to 2 pi means you are considering only 0 to pi is there is conducting remaining pi to 2 pi is to pi to 2 pi is 0. So I will take only 0 to pi. So V0 value will be equal to Vm into sin omega t into d of omega t. Now when you use the integration over it, we will get this value as Vm by pi. So this is the value Vm by pi, this is Vdc value. So similarly you can find IDC is also equal to, uh, IDC value will be equal to maximum current by pi, IM by pi. So here VM stands for 
the peak voltage this is the vm actually this is the vm and this is minus vm negative peak and im is the maximum current when you draw the current waveforms now in the same way if you want to find out you want to find out the rms values so what is the difference between rms value and dc value so if you want if you want to find out the voltage at output suppose if you connect ac uh, voltmeter ac voltmeter will give rms value ac voltmeter will give rms value whereas dc voltmeter will give vdc value that is average value okay now here if you i need to find out the because this is also alternating i need to find out the alternating uh, the rms value here so rms value means root mean square value so we can use this formula v rms is equal to root of i'm taking the mean over one period over one period square so integration from 0 to 2 pi the square means v not square d omega t so if you substitute the values 1 by 2 pi integration 0 to 2 pi but only it will be 0 to pi only we have to consider 0 to pi we have to consider 0 to pi and this is a vm sin omega t whole square into d omega t when you do the integration we will get this value as vm by 2 that is the rms value in the same way we can find out i rms also is equal to i maximum value by 2 that is the i rms value so these are the voltage values when you consider the practical uh, when you consider the ideal diode because in this discussion we discussed about output voltages output voltage diode is conducting when input voltage is more than 0 But that is the ideal case but when you consider the practical cases practical cases in the sense uh, when you have a small signal voltage small signal that means when you take uh, cut in voltage here when the cut in voltage v gamma is much much lesser than the vm so then we can use this analysis so if you take v normally v gamma will be 0.7 volts but when you take vm around some 7 volts or something some maximum voltage 5 volts or so then it is negligible but when you take for smaller voltages we have to consider the practical uh, uh, practical diode so in practical diode what will happen is the diode will conduct only when it reaches the cut in voltages so let us take this is the v gamma cut in voltage this is the v gamma now here i am drawing the waveform at the in the same one so actually up to this point the output is zero now from this point the diode will start conducting again when it reaches here diode will be zero again zero again at this point diode will start conducting again at this point it will be zero again diode will conduct so here you will get a waveform similar to the input waveform but the peak value is less than this so this difference will be so this difference will be equal to v gamma is the difference okay that means uh, this peak value is vm maximum and this peak value is vm minus v gamma and here we are when you consider the practical diode diode the circuit diode will conduct after 0.7 volts so when you consider in terms of the angle so <coughs> if you consider this angle as phi this will be equal to pi minus phi so this angle is called as cut in angle or we call it as uh, ignition angle and this is extinction angle so here the formula for phi will be you can get it as phi is equal to sin inverse v gamma by vm this is the formula for extinction uh, this is formula for the ignition angle now if you observe this phi value normally when you take v gamma is very much less than vm that means uh, when you take v gamma as very much less than vg vm so in that case this part will become zero like vm is very high so obviously we can take it as zero 
So when it is 0, sin inverse of 0 will be 0. So this 5 will be 0 and we will get the ideal case like this. But when you are considering, when you consider this one, when V gamma is considerable, when you compare with Vm, then we will consider this angle. So this is cut-in angle or ignition angle and this is extinction angle. And in between these two angles, the diode is conducting. So we call it as diode conducting. So the conducting angle of the diode, theta pi, the conducting angle, angle of the diode. So conducting angle of the diode, conducting angle of the diode will be equal to, so this is totally area is 2 pi totally and here phi is missing, here another phi is missing. So total will be equal to the conducting angle. So we can take conducting angle will be equal to, so pi minus 2 phi, that is the conducting angle for the half wire rectifier when you consider the practical diode, so small signal analysis. So this is about half wire rectifier and the current voltages. Old old so when you take DC, it is Vm by pi and uh, Im by pi for DC values and when it is RMS values, Vm by 2 and Im by 2, that is RMS values. And uh, cutting voltage is formula is phi is equal to sin inverse V gamma by Vm. This is all about half a rectifier.